shortened Hamming code. For the regular code, Hamming code, uh, we have this equality, number of messages, source messages is equal to to the power of k. If number of information bits required to encode m messages is in between 2 to the power of k, which is 4, 11, 26, and 2 to the power of k minus 1, then an nk code can be shortened. Uh, this can be done by omitting some number of information bits in the regular humming code. And they can be the, uh, the last right-hand side uh, information bits. Uh, the parity check matrix uh, of the shortened code can be obtained by deleting the last j columns. For example, uh, if we have seven messages, which means that we need three information bits only, not four. The nearest humming code is seven, four. This is the parity check matrix of this, uh, uh, of this code. Then, to obtain parity check matrix of code 6, 3, we simply delete the last column. It is no fourth information bit, no last column in this matrix of the full uh, regular Hamming code. This is matrix of the shortened code and uh, corresponding parity check equations. Now, uh, decoding. A decoding is the same as the regular Hamming code. The only difference is that if I, uh, a syndrome in decimal notation, is greater than n, uh, then uh, some double faults are, are detected. It means that uh, this syndrome does not exist in parity check matrix of the code, and this means that uh, we have detected a double error. Let us consider all double errors for code 6.3, 15 of them. As we can see, for five of them, we have a syndrome all one syndrome, which is not present in the parity check matrix. What it means that we have detected double error, and that's it. The remaining 10 double errors are erroneously decoded and uh, then probability of erroneous decision is 10 and probability of double error. Extended Hamming code is uh, part 3 of this uh, screencast.